it feels like every other week there's a new sort of footwear brand coming out at the moment and for whatever reason they don't seem to be the most interesting or forward thinking brands in the world what they do is that they already they take like already classic silhouettes and basically make their twin or in this case their twist on them and in my opinion i think it's really boring it's really um it's kind of obvious it's lacking inspiration innovation creativity and it just for in my opinion just continues on the kind of tradition now at the moment where everything is really mundane everything is really kind of middle of the road everything looks the same as it does the same as what everyone else is doing out there and no one's really pushing the envelope or asking interesting questions or posing interesting questions apart from maybe easy right and what they're doing in terms of footwear everything else just looks exactly what the classics that you're already used to and another example of them are these atrocities they're called Mis mischief actually and tiger have collaborated on these um essentially what they are is like the classic vans old school and they've added uh, some waves onto the midsole and onto the little motif on the side to kind of make them look a little bit different than what they basically are which is basically a pair of vans and in my opinion, I just, I'm bored of this. I am legitimately bored of this. I'm a bored of people taking classic silhouettes like an Air Jordan, like a Dunk, like an Air Force One and putting their twists in it. At the moment, you've got John Geiger on Twitter every single day crying at the fact that Nike won't allow him to copy an Air Force One model and put his little silly logo on the side of it and plus all these little paisley patterns on it and it's like dude you're clearly creative you clearly have a little bit of an innovative mind why not take all that creativity and design an entirely new shoe from the ground up now john guy would argue and say hey guy that shoe is entirely new from the ground up that's why i'm fighting nike in the court of law because i feel like i have the right and the ability to take inspiration from what they do they don't own a silhouette i can change it and edit it to my liking and i've edited it to my liking but let's be clear and let's be honest to so the lame man walking on the street they would have no idea who a john geiger is or what a john geiger is or if they saw that shape and that silhouette more likely than not they'd think it's an air force one so you're just kind of um, building your success off the base of something that you already know works that to me isn't really what you should be in it for what's the point of making your own shoes if you're just going to make different if you're just going to make the same shoes as everybody else if you're going to make your own shoes and have them manufactured and have them made why not start from scratch and actually redefine what an outdoor shoe looks like redefine what a running shoe looks like redefine what a casual shoe a skateboarding shoe whatever shoe it is take an idea or maybe use the ideas that you have in your clothing and apply it to some trainers and make it interesting i've always said for the longest time part of the reason why i like design the shoes for the most part especially designer shoes nowadays the modern era you look at what matthew williams is doing at Givenchy with some of the designers he's got us there you look at what demner's obviously doing at balenciaga you look at maybe what kiko is doing with asics for the most part designers when they approach sneakers they usually come at it from an interesting point of view like imagine if you used to go to like st martin's and you decided to have a brief as nike or adidas to say hey redesign or reinterpret what an Adidas superstar is. More likely than not, those kids and those people on that course, wherever course you choose, whether it's footwear design or fashion or textiles or communication, they'll go absolutely crazy on that silhouette and present something to you that you've never seen before, something completely out of the blue. They might take the ethos of the shoe, the inspiration of the shoe, the tone of it, and apply it to all different shapes and sizes, right? All different silhouettes and sizes. But for whatever reason, streetwear guys seem hell bent on just copying the classics and just trying to build off it and then cash out on fans because for the most part if you can't get a hold of a decent limited edition vans old school from like a double taps from a neighborhood from a brain dead from a whatever other brand out there collaborates with vans this is might be the next best thing right this is like the this is like the the newer version of the revenge storms right that's basically what these are right they're basically building on top of an already classic shoe and then doing them in colorways or in models or in shapes or with applications that vans haven't done yet and then basically exploiting that way and then cash grabbing it in that direction and i fucking hate it and most likely they're not let's think about price wise these shoes are going to be like what a hundred dollars maybe more right maybe 120 maybe 150 and in my opinion they are complete dog shit don't get me wrong if vans put these out officially my interpretation of them might be a little bit different but vans didn't put them out some kid at this brand called mischief decided to collaborate with tiger who in my opinion is again one of the most if not one of the most uncoolest people in the industry now he might be up there with rich the kid in terms of his his levels of uncoolness for me 
personally speaking. You look at that pyramid brand shit that he did back in the day, absolute trash. The clothes that he wears now, trash. The best thing about Tiger at the moment is the fact that he kind of keeps his head down and he's got a great set. You know, he's got a great head of hair at the moment. He was going bald one moment, and the next minute he pops up, he's looking like Snoop Dogg. That's fucking amazing. But in terms of fashion and clothes, like Kanye said about Lady Gaga, do you know what I mean? He puts some good songs. He, make, he makes some good songs, Tiger. He knows how to get the club jumping. What the fuck does he know about sneakers? Like, what the fuck does he know about sneakers? And the fact that he's collaborating with his brand tells you everything you need to know. Like, come on, man. I just I just don't get it. Extremely wavy with a sticker at the back. It's like, come on, man. Get a new and fresh idea. And maybe because Vans don't care. Or maybe this is a quick cash grab before they send the season to this. I don't really know. And someone could say, oh, no, these aren't, aren't these just the same as those Mishiyamo toes? And what, what's that brand called? Mishi, uh, Mishiyaramoro or something like that. I forgot that brand. No, they're not. Because if you've actually seen those Mishi, whatever shoes they are in real life, they're a lot wider in terms of the base and what they look like, their Vans. You can tell straight away that those um, shoes I'm mentioning, the Japanese shoes, that they're kind of based on Vans and Converse's, but they're sold at a really crazy high, high price point, And they have a little kind of molten, melted sort of look to them. You can tell that those aren't Vans. As soon as you look up close to them, there's no there's, there's no kind of confusing. Whereas a John Geiger, they basically look like Air Force Ones, and these mischief Tiger shoes just look like a van shoe. Even the, the the wave on the side of it, they haven't really changed it. It's the same shape, same size, like everything is exactly the same. I don't really I mean it's that if anything, you know what these shoes are, which might explain why they're Tiger collaborations. These look like the perfect shoe for somebody that's from LA. Like that kind of LA scene stuck person. I can see them wearing those kind of shoes. The ones that go to like, you know industry events or they might go to a few warehouse parties here and there or they might work at a store or like a dispensary this is what they'd wear this sort of shit like it's fucking garbage i honestly don't get it i really don't maybe i'm in a minority here but i don't understand why as a designer and again somebody who's done a little bit of design work myself somebody who i would say in my other artistic expression when it comes to djing i try not to repeat the same set in terms of how what i play um, in terms of outfits and stuff that I like to wear. If I see someone prominent wearing something that I have, I'll put on eyes for a while because I don't want anyone to say, oh, you got the Pharrell hat or you got the Rocky jacket or you got the this, that or the Bari, that. No, I don't want that. So sometimes I'll purposely not wear something for months and months so that I don't have to have that clash. Maybe because I, you know, I was brought up in a different generation. I'm not really too sure. But why? Why, why, why? And then, of course, who's going to be debuting them on their feet? Who's going to be the one to put them out there and to show everyone that they're the thing? Of course, ASAP Bari likes them these shits are fire fucking j balvin j balvin the man who can't say no to anything he makes great music but in terms of style he's just like like his tattoos and shit he's just like a smorgasbord of shit like there's nothing that this guy can say no to you could bring this guy pink what no you could bring this guy anything forget pink you could bring this guy anything in terms of clothing that fits him and he'll wear it there's nothing that he does not like and everything looks terrible on him, personally. I think you just have, like, as opposed to someone like Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny has impeccable style. And you maybe some people would say they're in the same universe, but I don't think they're in the same universe at all. I think J Balvin, just in terms of, like, his overall outfits and stuff and his dress sense and his style is terrible. But on the other side of things, too, I've always said for the longest time, I have sympathy for really rich people, especially really rich youngsters, because it's really hard to dress really well when you have all the money in the world to buy anything that you want and you're also getting sent stuff for free. It's very difficult to put outfits together. Very difficult. We've seen it often because a lot of people don't dress well. They have money. Whereas when you don't have much money and you're able to scrimp and scram and maybe you have one designer piece and the rest of the stuff that you've got on you is either secondhand, thrifted, vintage store, eBay, old, whatever, you end up looking much better than someone else wears head-to-toe designer. And that's just the case, isn't it? Because just, you're just spoiled with the options. But those way, like, look how dumb they look, bruv. They just look so shit. Why don't you just wear a normal pair of Vans? I don't get it. I really, really don't get it. Their purpose, in my opinion, I think they're absolutely terrible. And of course, the pages that would would kind of, of course, um, who, who is Celebrity Advice are taking the piss out of the people that are covering it in terms of um, my friends over at Hidden.NY, <laughs> the pages that blocked me. Imagine blocking an individual like me. Me. Who am I? I'm a nobody. But because I have some critical things to say about your page and the way you present yourself and the shitty products you put out there, I get blocked. I don't give a shit. I don't check your fucking page anyway. But just the other day when I was talking about them, um, I went to go and check their page. I was like, oh shit, I can't see it. It was it sorry, this page cannot load for you. I was like, hilarious. Hilarious that you'd block somebody over comments they talk about in terms of your clothes that you make. But hey, who cares? But regardless, I hate them. I always said in the comment there below, you know, sometimes J Bob needs to say no. But yeah, I absolutely hate them. I really, really do hate them. I think they're absolute 
garbage, but I'm sure they're gonna they're gonna fucking fly off the shelves because they're new and interesting and you know it's a different shape than what everyone's wearing at the moment. And I don't know, I, I don't get it personally. It's not for me. I don't like him. I think they're terrible. I'd love to know what you guys think though in the comments down below. Would you wear a pair of these mischief and tiger? Imagine fair enough if they were mis mischief shoes. Fair mischief vans model update wavy whatever cool but tiger shoes you want me to wear tiger shoes come on bruv man come on i rate myself way more higher than that to wear tiger shoes it's just not happening wavy baby on the ins man fuck out of here man wavy baby on the tissue paper are you absolutely taking the piss out of my life come on man piss off piss off anyway if you like them let me know in the comments down below and i'll and i'll delete your comment <laughs> i swear to god one absolute shit show mate one absolute shit show